Hey Adventures, so today is going to be another book review. This is actually for a short story and yeah, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it. It shouldn't be a very long review. So the, this is for The Green Door of Fate by Craig Martell. This is, a, as I mentioned, it's a short story. It's a military sci-fi. Yes, that's kind of really the two categories that it falls under. I, of course, haven't read a ton of sci-fi at this point, and so it's one of those ones that as I'm exploring the genre, I'm finding trying to find the things that I like still, and uh, trying to really pin down what it is in my tastes that I like. So, so this is a good point for me just to quickly say, if you like what you're seeing from An Erudite Adventure, we'd really appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe, and we will get right back into this review here. So, this was a free short story from Craig Martell. I got on his website, and somewhere I found it for free. You may have to sign up for his newsletter. I don't remember exactly how I got it, but there was a free audiobook for this one. I wanted to see what he could do as a writer. So he is an Alaskan, which is part of why I wanted to read his works. But he's also a retired Marine, so that's kind of where the military sci-fi aspect comes in, is he knows the military. So yeah, I was, I was excited to read this story and just to see what I thought of it. I do have a synopsis for this. Usually I don't give much of a synopsis in my reviews, I should probably, but this one was a short synopsis for a short story, and I it's a really helps to flesh out how to talk about this story. So it's this is the synopsis: Are aliens real? The green door is out there, and humans find it. Is it evidence that aliens exist? What will it tell them? Are they ready for the truth? Ready or not, it's time they learn. So that's really what the entire story is, is them studying the screen doors, researchers studying this door and trying to find out what it is, find out what they can learn from it. It's a short, as I mentioned, it's a short story, so there's not really a whole lot that I can talk about without just spoiling the, the entire story. But this story was really about questions and what we do when we don't have answers. The mystery of the green door is explored throughout this book and these questions are asked, are, there, are aliens real? Did they create this green door? What is this green door exactly? Is it even a, truly a door? There's all these answers that we want to try and find out. The, the things that I made note of when I read this story were the atmosphere. I really liked the atmosphere of it. It felt like sci-fi, but it was also the, the writing of it was very immersive and put me into the world and it just, it felt real, but it also felt sci-fi. There was also, I really liked the questioning, the, the way that they presented these researchers, presented what they were doing. I really appreciated that. Uh, the role of government in distributing information, I thought was very interesting and I thought it was very well done. Uh, that's, that's a topic for another time and for another discussion, whether or not it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, it should be a good thing or it should be a bad thing, that's not for this video and that's really not even for this book. That's not really what the book was saying, but it did have some discussion regarding that topic. There was some other things as well, themes and things as well in this story that it just really helped me enjoy it. Overall, I was very impressed both with the writing and the narration. I forgot to grab, forgot to look and see who the narrator was. But overall, I just had a great experience and I do want to read more by this author. I suspected that I would, but I wanted a little taste of how the author wrote, what his writing style was, what type of stories he told, stuff like that, before I just went and found one of his massive epic fan, or massive big uh, sci-fi epics that he's got a whole bunch of. So uh, he seems to be a fairly prolific writer and yeah, so that's really all I have to say about The Green Door of Fate. I did very much like it. I think it was a fantastic short story, sci short science fiction story, and uh, I'm glad to have read it. So thank you guys for watching An Erudite Adventure. We post videos every Monday and Thursday and have our social medias linked in the description down below. We will see you guys again soon. Stay warm.